Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today I have the pleasure of sitting behind the wheel of an absolutely spectacular 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback Bullet Recreation. To start off this video, um, I'd like to mention this is a non-rehearsed video. I'm sure I'm going to forget some things about this awesome car throughout my presentation, so I would highly recommend checking out the description and all the photos on our website at msclassiccars.com. I spend a lot of time uh, writing those descriptions. Corey does a great job with all his photography, so once again, please make sure to check it out on our website. Talking about this particular vehicle, the first thing that I'd like to say is I've done a binder for this car as I do for all the cars at MS Classic Cars. Um, we do have some photos of the restoration that are listed within our photo gallery. They're at the bottom of the gallery, so make sure to check those out. Um, I do normally have a service invoice with every vehicle that we sell. We're the only classic car dealership in the country that services every vehicle that we sell. We document that work with an invoice. I decided with this particular car, since it was just completed in December of 2020, and I kind of did a very quick uh, service uh, walk around in this vehicle, everything was in really great working order, so we kind of snuck it in to get it presented uh, on our website. But before the new owner takes delivery of the vehicle, we will make sure to put it through our entire service process, go through the car, make sure everything is up to speed, and again, present an invoice to the new buyer for that. So I just wanna make sure I cleared that up. Um, regarding this particular car, about a year and a half ago, um, I was looking at a 1967 Ford Mustang. As everybody uh, who has been paying attention to these cars will know, uh, this generation Mustang, which is referred to as the second generation Mustang, is extremely, extremely collectible amongst uh, investors and collectors, especially the fastback version. These cars have been uh, featured in some pretty popular movies. The Bullet would be one, Gone in 60 Seconds would be the other with the famous Eleanor. Um, so once you take a, a 67 or 68 Mustang and then you recreate one of the movie cars, you end up with something that everybody truly has on their bucket list and falls in love with. This particular uh, car here, um, about a year and a half ago, I was looking at a 67 Mustang from a gentleman by the name of Joe Bush. He lives in New York. Um, he had done kind of a, somewhat of a custom 67. We didn't strike a deal, but we became friendly. He sold the car pretty quickly. Um, he said to me that he had purchased a few years back a really, really nice uh, 68 Ford Mustang um, that he was going to either do a bullet recreation on or an Eleanor and just wanted to get my opinion. So him and I kind of went back and forth um, and he made the decision to do a bullet. 
Uh, we spoke about uh, this particular car and he gave me first row refusal when the car was finished to purchase it. Um, so that's exactly what I did. He started this car um, in the beginning of the year 2020. He finished it in December of 2020. Uh, it was truly a, a labor of love. Again, there's pictures of the car within our photo gallery so you can clearly see what the car would look like before the restoration. From the information I gathered from Joe, um, the car had very limited ownership history. Um, it spent its entire life in New York. Uh, the door tag indicates that it was the Buffalo, New York DSO code. Um, so everything kind of lines up as far as that's concerned. There's a picture uh, within the gallery of the inspection sticker from New York that was 1978 when he had the car. Um, so uh, the story goes that a gentleman purchased it. That gentleman passed. Um, his wife acquired the car um, after he had passed and she put it inside of a barn. The barn actually had some dirt floors and then she eventually got remarried. Through that time frame, a few attempts to a restoration were done, but it never really happened. Um, so the car did come off the road in 78 and uh, again, nothing happened all the years until Joe purchased the vehicle. And when Joe purchased it, again, he had every intention of doing a restoration. Uh, Joe owned a body shop for many years. He's retired now. So what he does with the help of his wife is he does, you know, typically about one restoration per year. He goes over them from top to bottom. So this particular car, uh, which is really nice, it retains all of its original uh, VIN numbers. The first VIN number is on the passenger side, uh, right attached to the actual dash behind the windshield. Uh, that is there, that's the original VIN tag. As I just mentioned, it has the original uh, door tag, which is, uh, you know, goes over all of the options and so forth that the car had, including the VIN number, which is on there. It also has the VIN number on the driver's side uh, inner top fender, which is great. So a lot of the times these cars, they lose the door tags, they lose, uh, you know, the VIN number on the uh, dash behind the windshield. Uh, the inner fenders get replaced, so the original VINs uh, that were stamped on there disappear. This is a really great uh, deal here because all the VIN numbers are intact. So I went online and I actually decoded the actual door tag. They refer to that door tag as a data uh, plate tag. So it clearly states that it was a fastback with standard interior bucket seats. The car originally was Gulfstream Aqua. On the exterior, it had Aqua vinyl interior. Um, it just goes over more information here. The car was actually built at the New Jersey uh, plant. And this car had a V8. It was a 302 car from the factory and it was a four speed manual car. So all the restoration photos will clearly show you this car was born uh, a fastback. This car was born with a four speed, which makes it really cool uh, when you start talking about what the car was originally from the factory. Um, so getting into the restoration, um, I'm gonna start with the, the exterior first. Um, most of the sheet metal on this car is uh, replaced in the sense that there's not a lot of original sheet metal here so that you don't have to worry about any problems with any uh, you know heavy coats of Bondo or any uh, future rusting and things like that because Joe did a great job uh, replacing all the sheet metal. The roof on the car is original and the front fenders are original. Everything else such as the hood, um, the doors, the rear quarters, the rear trunk lid, the panel, all of that has been replaced. Um, he even replaced the entire floors on this vehicle. It was a one piece floor, did a beautiful job uh, putting all that together. So you clearly will see um, from our photo gallery, this car is in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, he did a really, really nice job aligning all the panels. The hood closes beautifully, the doors open and close beautifully. So does the trunk lid. Uh, really good job with the body fitment. You'll notice if you go online and look at these cars, you'll see a lot of the times the doors hang at the bottoms. A lot of times the fenders don't line up very well with the hood um, and so forth. So again, I would say this car's got a really straight body. He did a super nice job on it. And then he painted the vehicle. Uh, he painted it, obviously the color of the bullet Mustang, which was the Highland Green. This is definitely a show quality paint job. Because the car was completed in December of 2020, and it only has 28 test miles on it. The paint job is virtually flawless. It really hasn't had 
much road time to worry about a bunch of scratches or chips or anything like that. So again, this is a show quality car from top to bottom. It's got a beautiful paint job. We did a really nice job in MS Classic Cars of detailing the vehicle uh, so it's ready to rock and roll. Um, getting into some of the things that are similar to this car um, as the original. When I say the original, from the information that I've gathered, they used multiple vehicles in the movie. Um, so some of those vehicles were different in the regard that some of them had different mirrors, uh, some of them had different uh, lower moldings. Rather than making it confusing, what Joe did is he mimicked um, this car to the car that sold in January of 2020 at the Mecham auction, which was the original Bullet Mustang. Uh, we put pictures of that car um, that we pulled off the internet within our photo gallery so you can compare it to this car. Um, that car sold for 3.4 million. So if you look at that car and you line it up next to this car, Joe did it very, very similar in every single regard. So, a couple examples. Um, it has the same style front grille. Uh, it has the antenna on the passenger fender. It has the rectangular driver's side mirror, which is on here, not on the passenger side, but just on the driver's side. He also uh, used the chrome uh, style lower moldings. You'll see some vehicles have them painted, some don't. The car that sold at Mecham had the uh, chrome non-painted moldings, so he applied those to this car. He found uh, the closest wheel and tire that he could find uh, to the original in these American Racing 15-inch uh, five-spoke. It's kind of a Torx thrust style wheel. The car even sits like the original car did, which was really cool. When I first saw it, that was what reminded me of that car. Even the tires, the way the tires are on the front are very similar to the original car. And then, of course, the gas cap in the back is painted uh, like the original car was. And he also um, deleted the reverse lights. So again, he did a really, really nice job uh, mimicking that original car to what you see here today. Now, talking about everything on the exterior, um, all of the glass is brand new. That was one of the things that Joe had asked me during the time that we were consulting why the car was under restoration. He had said, should I replace all the glass? I said, absolutely. A lot of times with these Mustangs, uh, guys don't replace all of the glass. I should back up a second before I uh, say anything further. When I say guys, I, I should have said uh, guys and girls. I don't want to uh, be prejudiced by any means, but when people do restorations um, and these vehicles are uh, restored, they typically don't replace all the glass. So this vehicle, new windshield, new vent glass, new door glass, new glass in the rear. It is absolutely beautiful. It's super, super nice when a car has all new glass. Getting into the bright work, all the bright work was redone. Um, it's all beautifully uh, put on the vehicle. It fits really well. Something again that he did a super job with. These hoods are really cool because they have the turn signals built into the hood. So when you're driving, you can actually see your turn signals. Uh, the grill is new, the front bumpers are new. Oh, another thing about the original movie car is he put the bumper guards on the bumpers. Um, that's another thing that he added to uh, this vehicle that you're looking at here. Those were new. All the headlights, uh, these are halogen headlights. All the lenses, again, the molding on the bottom, the door handles, the mirror, um, all the taillight lenses, all the taillight bezels, the rear bumper, the guards, everything on the exterior of this car is brand new. If you saw pictures of this car prior to the restoration, you'll see that really nothing was saved as far as any trim pieces or anything. So it only made sense to just basically build a new car. And that's what Joe did. And he did a really, really nice job. He should be super proud. Getting into the interior. Um, this entire interior, uh, again, was done just like the original car that sold uh, at the Mecham auction. Uh, in January of 2020. He did it all black, just like that car. It's got a new uh, headliner here. Everything was finished in black. New dash pad here. It looks absolutely beautiful. All of the gauges are in beautiful condition. Uh, all the gauges are in working order. All of the simulated wood around the gauges was added and re obviously replaced and added. Um, he even went into the glove box door and down the sides, uh, just like the movie car. He added the same logo, uh, the running horse, on the passenger side of the dash. Um, it has a very similar 
steering wheel. I guess the original Shelby GT500 wheel from the original car had four holes. This wheel's got three holes. He told me it was near impossible uh, to find a four uh, hole wheel, um, but he used the correct style steering wheel. The AM radio, which is in working order by the way, the original car had the AM radio, and he also used a very similar style Hearst shifter with the same white uh, shift knob. So again, when you're sitting behind the wheel of this car, the idea was to, to, to be sitting behind something that felt as authentic as the original car as possible. Everything in this interior is brand spanking new. The door panels are new, all the door hardware is new, the door sills are new. Um, all of these bucket seats are brand new. There's a beautiful job on the upholstery here. The back seats are new. That back seat does fold down very nicely. It's got seat belts in the front, seat belts in the back. Uh, the heat works, all the pedals are new. He even added black uh, floor mats on top of the brand new carpeting as well. So I can't say enough about this interior. It's like sitting in a brand new car because once again, every single thing was replaced. Even these sun visors are brand spanking new here. They fit really, really nice. You can see where they come out. Even the pieces that hold the sun, uh, sun visors in are also brand new as well. New rear view mirror, the list just goes on and on. Getting into the uh, trunk compartment of the vehicle, um, you'll notice in our photo gallery that's all been restored. It has the correct style uh, trunk mat, um, so it's a really spacious trunk. You can actually get into the back through the trunk section. You just lift this little lever and you can actually uh, enter it from the back side, which is really cool with these cars. Um, talking about the engine compartment, um, I have to say, once again, he did a super job making the engine compartment look very similar to the original car. Um, the back side of the actual hood was painted the Highland Green, did a beautiful job. Even the back side is show quality. The entire engine compartment was painted a high gloss black. So I'm referring to the actual firewall, the inner fenders, the radiator support, etc. cetera. Um, the cowl area, obviously that is Highland Green, how it kind of folds into the actual firewall. Um, and he decided to go with the exact motor that was in the original car, which is a 390 V8. It's got a four barrel Holley carburetor on it. Um, he used a S code uh, cam. So it's not a radical cam. It's what the manufacturer would have put in the 390. Um, he also added the GT heads. Uh, I believe they're 1968 GT heads. So the motor was completely rebuilt. He had it professionally done. Again, it only has 28 miles on this entire restoration. This car starts awesome. It runs awesome. It sounds really good. Um, you'll notice in the engine compartment, it, it, comparing it to the original car, not only is it the same color blue on the block, but he also used the same chrome valve covers that say powered by Ford as the original car, and he even used the same style air cleaner. So within our photo gallery, we kind of put some pictures, uh, again, of the interior of the original car and of the engine compartment of the original car. Obviously, the original car was nowhere near in the condition of this car because it was original, um, but again, he wanted it to look as close as possible. Um, he did some other cool things in here. Everything else uh, was replaced. I'm talking about the hood hinges, the ignition system, the battery, the radiator, all the pulleys, the alternator. I mean, everything that's in that engine compartment has been restored to a very high level. This car does have power steering, which works really, really nice. You kind of need power steering with these bigger uh, tires that these cars have. So that was a great decision that he made. The engine actually breathes through factory style manifolds, which again, he didn't want to add headers because it wouldn't have looked correct to the original car. So he went with manifolds. He actually went with a dual exhaust system that sounds really, really nice. The engine breathes out of uh, these chrome tips that come out of the back, which look great. Um, the engine is actually coupled to a four-speed top loader transmission. He had the entire transmission completely rebuilt. It shifts really, really nice. It's got a brand new clutch. Um, again, the other thing that he did is he added Posi to a brand new uh, Ford 9-inch rear end. So it does have uh, some really good running gear between the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think the original movie car had Posi, um, but he added that obviously for traction. 
Uh, it was more of a safety thing than anything else. I don't think that really makes a huge difference. Most people would agree POSI is a huge plus. Um, so you spent a lot of money on that rear axle. Uh, it's a new housing. It's got new axles. It's got new bearings and, and gears and everything else. So again, he went through the entire drivetrain of this car from start to finish. I'm um, talking about the undercarriage. As I mentioned earlier, it does have a brand new one piece floor. So when you look at our photo gallery, you will clearly see how beautiful the undercarriage is. This undercarriage is definitely mirror quality. You can put lights underneath it. You'll notice that the gas tank is really, really beautiful. It shines super nice. All new gas lines, all new brake lines. While we're talking about the brakes, it does have power brakes with front Willwood discs on, on the front. Uh, it's got drums on the back. So that was definitely a nice upgrade. So the car steers really nice with power steering. It brakes really nice with uh, power brakes. All the suspension pieces are brand new. It's got KY, uh, KYB adjustable shocks front and rear. They're white, they look really nice. Um, the car's got a really killer stance. It looks very similar to the movie car. So he really, again, did a great job mimicking that car. I tip my hat to Joe. I know his wife was a big help as well. They did a great job uh, together as a team working on this car. So again, uh, this is a spectacular car. If you do your homework on these cars, go on and look at uh, some of the examples that have sold in the past. You will realize that uh, a few things, either A, they're not show quality. Some people just, they just don't do things like beautiful body work. They don't do beautiful paint. They don't replace all the glass or some people you know, we'll, we'll skimp on the interior or maybe they'll skimp on the engine compartment. Maybe they'll do something completely different. But at the end of the day, to find a car that was done very, very similar to the original car that essentially is new throughout um, and is in the condition that this car is, um, it's just not often that you find that. I guarantee if you go on the internet right now or, or look at some upcoming auctions, you'll find that there's literally a couple of these cars listed for sale. When you start to compare those vehicles to this vehicle, the difference will be very clear when you see it. So again, make sure you do that. Um, I think I've said enough about this car. I don't think I forgot a whole lot, but once again, please go to my website uh, for a complete description with tons of photos at msclassiccars.com. If you don't follow us on social media, please do. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Uh, we're obviously on YouTube. We have an email blast that you can sign up for if you want to be following MS Classic Cars a little bit closer. You'll see that we only collect number one, number two condition vehicles. I own all the inventory. Uh, again, we service every car we sell. We detail these cars to a very high level. I assist with all the transportation. Even when the car gets loaded inside the enclosed trailer, we even wrap it with a brand new plastic car cover so the car will arrive at your doorstep extremely, extremely clean, just like it left the dealership. So we appreciate you watching, we appreciate the interest. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it right now and let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Fires right up, sounds absolutely spectacular. Thanks again for watching.